What's up guys, it's your girl Christina and I am back with another video. As you can see from the title, this is completely different from anything we ever talked about on this channel. Um, but when I tell you the spirit of God just was on me so, so, so heavy to make this video, you know, and it was bigger than, you know, what I wanted to do and what I thought, you know, I should do because when he, when the situation happened, he was like, I was like, I just, I need to tell people about this because so I need to talk about this because so many people just don't know. And he just had that on me really strong to talk about it. And he was like, put it on YouTube. And I'm just like, well, maybe I'll make another channel for it because my, my makeup page has nothing to do with this, you know, my beauty page. He said, yes, it does because it has everything to do with you and everything to do with who you are and who you're growing into be becoming and what I need you to do, you know? Um, so I was like, okay, God. And I was so scared to do it. And that's how I knew even more so it was God pushing me to do it. Um, for those who don't know, you know, I'm a follower of Christ. I'm a Christian. I love God. I've always loved God. But the past maybe two years i got serious about my relationship with him i got serious about surrendering my life to him i didn't really start doing it until maybe this year i got really serious as, say, as where i was saying i'm going to be obedient to everything that you tell me to do i'm going to listen for your voice i'm just going to allow god to get the glory out of my life however he sees fit and a lot of times we we say that, but we don't understand what comes with that, you know? Here I am today allowing him to use me to help whomever needs to hear this, whoever may not know, you know, because it's going to be for somebody. I don't care if just one person gets this message and feel convicted and call out to Jesus and ask, you know, Jesus and say, you know, Jesus, reveal yourself to me. Like I, I'm fine. My, my job is done. So I'm just here to be obedient. So let me give you a quick story about what happened today. I was at lunch with uh, two friends. One of them really know me on a level to where she know, you know, about my walk. She know about my love for God. You know, that's, I talk about that a lot. I'm always, you know, ministering to her and to other people around us but the other friend she doesn't know that side of me all she knows is christina is nice she don't curse you know oh she's sweet but she don't know that that's the holy spirit that lives in me so certain things i don't say certain things i don't do so i watch how i talk or how i text and you know i'm kind to people but she she don't know you know my relationship or my religious status or anything like that so we were having a conversation at lunch and she made a, she, long story short, she just said that she didn't believe, you know, in Jesus. She didn't believe in God. And she said that, you know, oh, I'm Jewish. So I don't believe in Jesus. And, you know, we don't, she was saying some technical things about um, their, their speech, you know, or their language, you know? So I was like, okay. And so I started to minister to her with just, you know, talking just a little bit as far as asking her, what about after this life? I was like, do you know that this life is just an appetizer to what it's really about? Do you know that this life is just so short? You know, we can die today or tomorrow or we can live to be a hundred, but we're going somewhere afterwards. And where we're going is a place of eternity. So, you know, you have to be careful about how you live this life and the things that you do and your relationship with God. You know, you have to know about it because your soul depends on it and your real life depends on it, you know, because there is a heaven and there is a hell. And she didn't fully believe that. And I said, but what if you don't believe it what if are you willing to sacrifice eternity you know with god in heaven to go to hell because you didn't take the time out to seek or you didn't take the time out to just ask and to dig deeper or to ask ask this god to reveal himself to you and i told her i was like 
you know, is it worth it? And she said, well, her explanation was, well, I'm a good person. I treat people well. You know, she said, um, you know, I try not to sin. You know, I try to love people and things like that. I said, but that's not enough to get into heaven. And it hurt my heart so much because a lot of people think like this. A lot of people believe that because I'm nice and because I'm a good person, I feed the homeless, I do this, I do that, that that's going to get them in heaven alone. It's great to do all of those things. That's what we are supposed to be doing. But there's another part to it too. You know, God said that you have to have faith and you have to believe in him and you have to believe in his son, Jesus Christ, that he is the son of God, that he is your Lord and savior, that he was sent here to save you and that you have to confess that you believe in him because that's your only way to get into heaven. There's no other route. And I don't care if you, you're Jewish, you're white, you're black, Hispanic, Chinese, Indian. I don't care what it is. I don't care what religion you practice or what you was taught, what you believe in, what you do, how many times you pray. It's not enough to get you into heaven. You need relationship with Jesus Christ. And people just don't understand that. And I'm like, I have to I have to tell people if I can do if I can do anything to help this because my heart really really hurts for this. If I could do anything or tell anybody like if I'm making this video and only one person gets it, I've done my job. So she went and asked me, "Am I not going to get into heaven even though I did all those things?" And I was like, "The Bible and scripture and God tells us no." She said, I said, let me ask you this. I said, you know me, so I can ask you, okay, can I come over to your house? You know, can I come chill? You're gonna say, of course, Christina, you know, you're my friend. I know you, yeah, you can come over. You feel comfortable with me coming there. You know me, so you're gonna allow me to come. I said, what if your neighbor who lives on the third floor, who you never met, never seen, comes knocks on your door and say, oh, can I come in? What are you gonna say? I was like, she said, I'm going to say no, you know, of course. And I'm like, of course. It's the same thing with Jesus in heaven. If he don't know you, he don't have a relationship with you, why should he let you in his house? Why would you even want to be there? You don't know him. You don't want to know him. You didn't, you don't ask to know him. You don't inquire about him. You don't even believe in him. Why would you want to go where he is and why would he let you in? When he gave you scripture, he gave you the word, he gave you the Bible. And so I asked her, I said, do you, I, I, well, I told her, I said, God always, you know, tries to reveal himself to his people, his creations, because God created us all. God created heaven and earth. He's always trying to reveal himself to you. And so she said, well, I've never had an encounter. He never you know, I just, I've never seen anything. I never heard anything. I said, but you know what? If you didn't, I said, this moment right here, this conversation is him right now trying to reveal himself to you. It's trying to open your eyes to him. And I said, so this is a start. I said, because we didn't plan this conversation. And then, you know, I told her, we ended the conversation by saying, I told her, just with your heart, humble yourself and ask God with your whole heart to reveal himself to you. If he's real, God, show me who you are. And that's for anybody else who don't believe or who don't have a relationship. Ask God to show me, give me a, an encounter. Show me who you are. Let me know that you're real. You know, not just by what everybody else said. I want to know for myself that, you, that you're real. And he will show you that. You know, he said, if you seek, you'll find. If you knock, the door shall be open to you. So you just have to seek him out and he will reveal himself to you. So uh, one of her concerns was, you know, she, she felt that she couldn't go to church because, you know, she had tattoos and, you know, she had piercings so they would judge her. 
I said, but you have to understand this walk with God and your relationship with God has nothing to do with the people in the church. And that's one thing that religion has taught us. But relationship teaches us that God wants you to come as you are. He wants you to come. I mean, in all your filthiness, whatever you think you've done. I mean, even in my own life, I was sitting in church praising God, speaking in tongues, worshiping, working in church and going to hell with gasoline draws on. Like they had a special spot for me in hell and I was doing all of the things, you know, but my relationship was not right with God. I didn't have conviction. I did have conviction, but what relationship with God, it makes you want to do what he, it makes you want to live right. It makes you, the love that you, you get from him makes you want to honor him right with your body, with the things that you say, how you do things, how you treat people. So that's what that relationship brings out of you. That's what that relationship grow you into, you know, that type of person. So it's not about your own works and, oh, I'm forced to do this. I'm forced to do that. And I'm going through routine. I'm doing the religious practices, you know, I'm doing everything A, B, C, D, but my relationship isn't right with God. And that's why we don't change. So I was telling her, it's about relationship. Just go to him just as you are, just as you are, you know, ask him to reveal himself to you and trust the process. Trust that he's going to honor what you're doing and he's going to reveal himself to you. He's going to fix you in ways that you need to be fixed. I don't care how much you think you've sinned or how bad you've done that you too, you've too done too bad, too much to, to have a relationship with him. He wants you just as you are with all your dirt, all your sins. He wants to love on you. And in his love, he purifies you. He cleans you. I mean, that's, I'm a living testimony of that. I mean, one day I'll share my story. But when I tell you God is a forgiving God, God is a, a loving God, God is a healer, God is a purifier, God changes who you are. God changes you into being exactly who you call to be. He puts you into purpose, but you have to allow him to, to clean you and to purify you if you just trust him. And um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but God is, if, if he never called you, if he never gave you a sign, if he never tried to reveal himself to you, this video, this message right now is him doing it. And if you can just humble yourself and ask God, can you reveal yourself to me? Can you show me that you are real? Because I'm confused. We've all been there. If you make that one step, I promise you he's going to do the rest. God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Like if we only trusted him, if we only allowed him to love on us, you know, and show us what real love is and show us how to love, our lives would be so amazing, so amazing, not perfect, but we will have joy in the midst of trials. We would know what real true joy is. We would know what real true love is if we just allow him to love on us. Me, myself, in this life, I'm learning that it's bigger than my insecurities. It's bigger than my shortcomings. It's bigger than my talents. It's all about God, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior and everything that he wants from me. It's all about him being glorified in my life. So today, at this moment, again, I'm surrendering myself to him. I'm surrendering this channel. I'm surrendering my life. I'm surrendering my desires and everything else to him. Like, so he can get the glory out of my life and so he can be glorified. If you made it this far, thank you so much for tuning into this message, into this video. I hope it blessed you. I hope, you know, somebody got something from it. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.